So gentlemen, we're going to lift up our left hand and we're going to rock in on our right foot just like we did before. So we step on the right to the left of our partner and we cross that in front of her face and then rock back. So you rock in, cross it in front of her face and rock back. You can do it over and over. It's called a one-handed cuddle turn. Rock in, rock back, cross it in front, rock in, rock back. Go ahead and try that for a minute until you get it solid. Okay, so there's your first turn. We're gonna do one more one-handed turn. It's called a one-handed waist slide. Now, gentlemen, it's your turn to spin. Girls are just coming across. Same thing, we rock in on our right foot, but we're gonna spin to the left as we do it. And right here, gentlemen, you let go with your left hand, you rock back on the left, and then pick up the exact same hand. After I do that, I always like to follow up with a one-handed cuddle turn. Right there. So you, you rock in on the right and spin left, let go, pick up the left hand again, take the left hand over. Do it with me one more time. And if you're not on my side, make sure you switch. And one more thing that I, I, I often see is I often see people doing a cuddle turn like this and a waist slide like this. And that's okay to kind of get a feel for it. But once you start dancing, you want that motion of rocking in and rocking back to carry over. So you want to rock in and switch places with your partner on each turn. So we rock in for the waist slide. We let go. We rock back and switch places. Then we take the left hand over, rock back, we switch places. Go ahead and try both of those back to back until you get them solid. Next, I'm going to teach you four simple turns. Now, these turns are kind of like your basic maneuvers that piece everything together. So they're twofold. They help connect the dots, and they also give you a little bit of time to think. Because for us guys, it's really hard, practically impossible to think and dance at the same time. So you got to have something you can do that's slightly repetitive that gives you the ability to think about what you want to do next. So I'm going to teach you these four basic turns, and along with that, one small piece of technique. The first turn is called a cuddle turn. So guys, we're going to drop this right hand, and we're only going to use one hand on the turn. Now while you do these turns, I want you to focus on one tiny piece of technique with your hands. Always leave them open. See how her hand is open in a C, and so is mine. But when you're connected with both hands, same thing. And that way as you turn, your hands can rotate, and they won't, if you're grabbing and you're trying to do a turn, it just doesn't work. You always have to have your hands open so they can move and flow easily. So. Drop the right hand, gentlemen, and guys, if you stand on my side, then you won't be doing everything mirror image. If you're on the other side, it gets real tricky. So if you're not on my side, switch to this side, and we're going to do this cuddle turn. So gentlemen, we're going to lift up our left hand, and we're going to rock in on our right foot just like we did before. So we step on the right to the left of our partner, and we cross that in front of her face, and then rock back. So you rock in, cross it in front of her face, and rock back. You can do it over and over. It's called a one-handed cuddle turn. Rock in, rock back, cross it in front. Rock in, rock back. Go ahead and try that for a minute until you get it solid. Okay, so there's your first turn. We're gonna do one more one-handed turn. It's called a one-handed waist slide. Now, gentlemen, it's your turn to spin. Girls are just coming across. Same thing, we rock in on our right foot, but we're gonna spin to the left as we do it. And right here, gentlemen, you let go with your left hand, you rock back on the left, and then pick up the exact same hand. After I do that, I always like to follow up with a one-handed cuddle turn. Right there. So you, you rock in on the right and spin left, let go, pick up the left hand again, take the left hand over. Do it with me one more time. And if you're not on my side, make sure you switch. And one more thing that I, I, I often see is I often see people doing a cuddle turn like this and a waist slide like this. And that's okay to kind of get a feel for it, but once you start dancing, you want that motion of rocking in and rocking back to carry over. So you want to rock in and switch places with your partner on each turn. So we rock in for the waist slide, we let go, we rock back and switch places, then we take the left hand over, rock back, we switch places. Go ahead and try both of those back to back until you get them solid. Three quick tips to help your dancing progress. Number one, hit that follow button because then you can come back and find all of our free dance instructional content that much easier next time. Number two, stop and practice. Don't try and do too many of these lessons too quickly. Pick one, practice it for a day or two at least, and then move on to the next, and then you won't get as frustrated. Number three, if you're having trouble navigating all this content and trying to figure out which lessons to learn first, uh, we actually did something pretty cool. We put them all on a DVD. You can buy it for about 20 bucks on utahcountrydance.com. Um, but one of the really cool things about the DVD is if you keep the remote close by, um, each move is broken down into a couple different chapters on the DVD, if not three or four chapters on the DVD. So every time uh, it's progressing through a move, if you feel lost, you can hit the skip back button and watch that section as many times as you want 
uh, before you move on to, to the next. It's super cool. Uh, come back and see us soon. Hope you're enjoying the lessons.